Uh, in this episode, I will introduce you how to control our servos by using our wireless handle. As you can see, this is our handle. And all you need to know is that which button corresponds to which action group. I will give you a brief introduction. For example, this start button corresponds to number zero action group. I mean, if you press this button once, just like this, and then the control board will run num number zero action group. And this button corresponds to number one action group, and this one corresponds to number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can refer to our server controller user menu because there's a decode table. It tells you which button corresponds to which action group. Yes, and uh, now all we need to do is to connect this handle receiver to this control board. You know, if you look at the cables, there are a line of them, the, right one, the white one, the black one, the red one. And you have to, you need to have the white cables stick to the white part of the pins. Yeah, white part of the pins. And just like this. Okay, and now you can turn on the switch. You can say the lights are flashing all the time. And then you can turn on the handle, just like this. And you can say the lights are not flashing. And that means the connecting are successful. So now let's run this action group we just added. If you connect, uh, if you press the stop button, just like this, then the control board will run number zero action group once, once again. And this is the number one, number zero action group. And if you press this button, then the control board will run number one action group. Do you remember that? And what about this one? Yes, this is the slowest action group we just added. This is our number two action group. So uh, you can achieve wireless handle to control your robots, your servos, it's very convenient. Okay, and this is the end of today's program. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube pages. See you there.